Now, if only the weather would get more seasonable, we could all take advantage of that, right, Joseph? That's right, yeah. You know, it's starting to at least dry up a little bit, but it's not going to last. It's been very cool this April, the start of our May now, and it's probably going to continue as go through the week. In fact, we already have a change to our seven day, and it's maybe not one you're wanting. But let's take a look outside right now. Here's Portland, some beautiful uh, blue sky, some clouds passing through, not really squeezing out any rain for Portland, but around us we may get a couple light showers. Kalama, there's the view there. Mount Hood Meadows, blue sky. Look at the snowfall. We love it. Uh, it's just a great shot. There's so much snow up there right now. And then seaside, also a nice clear sky. This is what it looks like, though, on the satellite. You can see you know how we had all those little puffy cumulus clouds kind of over the top of us. Well, you could kind of tell there are little islands scattered across areas of Willamette Valley. But what I really want to point out is the development of a couple of thunderstorms here in areas of Jefferson County, pretty close to the Cascade Crest. You can see the development of those clouds there as uh, those storms build and build and those clouds get a little bit higher and higher in the atmosphere. Well, there's a couple spotty showers around here, but I am kind of keeping my eye on those cells right there that are blooming and they're seeing plenty of moisture there. Uh, kind of a strong wind, so we may get some uh, stronger thunderstorms in that area, and I showed you that potential earlier. So we'll keep an eye on that, but there's still some moisture down to the south, of which could be producing some snowfall for the higher terrain, and, and exactly what we need for this time of the year. We've had some very dry, snow-free springs, and not the case this year, which is great. Again, here's a zoomed in view of Mount Hood Meadows. I'm just showing you that because I want to talk about the snow water equivalent, which has had a massive resurgence over the last month or so. A lot of the basins well above the percentage of normal, even for those down to the south now. Now, there's only a few of them here. I have left off a couple of those, but most across the state now, at least 70 to 89 percent that yellow category and above. And the ones that I have here are all looking really good, and that's exactly what we need. So silver lining to kind of this cool pattern is at least we're improving that, right? OK, here's the weather pattern. Here's that trough in place. So here's this weak ridge that's moving through today and tomorrow, which is going to leave us pretty dry. But then we're back into another trough on Thursday, and that's going to bring in some heavy rain for us and some more mountain snow. All right, that's great. Well, behind that, we were watching a ridge develop, but it sure looks like it's going to get squeezed a little bit farther to the east, leaving us in the cooler pattern, probably heading into the weekend. So temperatures are starting to cool off slightly, and a chance for rain has definitely been increased. You can see that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Let me show you that in the future cast. For the rest of today, again, yeah, maybe a couple passing showers, but mainly dry. I think you get away without that rain jacket. Dry off towards the northwest there by about 6 p.m. and then some shower activity there in central Oregon. We get into tomorrow morning here. Not a lot going on. That ridge is weak, but it should prevent us from seeing much rain till maybe late Wednesday night. Here's 10 p.m. for the Oregon coast. Maybe a little area of rain around the Willamette Valley. It's more so going to be Thursday as a front starts to wedge on in and it's going to push right on through. It's going to lead to a really wet afternoon, breezy as well. But this is also going to provide more moisture and the air is cold enough for some snowfall for the mountains, which is going to just increase the snow water equivalent that we were just looking at. So this is really a great pattern for us right now. OK, there's Saturday. It's a wet day. <sighs> If we could just get one really nice weekend, I think we'd all be happy about that. But like I said, this is really great for our mountains and our water. 60 degrees today, 62 on Wednesday, still maybe 70 on Sunday, but it sure looks like we may have a chance for some showers. I mean, yes, we need the rain and all that stuff, yeah. but it's been like one nice day and then maybe in two weeks we'll get another nice day. And it's been maybe, very sporadic. Maybe in three weeks we'll get, yes. I know, that's what if we just package one week and that'd be great. But. All right, looks nice behind us right now. Hey, we'll be right back, stick around.